new day. It's Monday the 22nd and I have just sold the red car. So yeah, sold the red car and they are off. And it, it's just stuck his trade plates on it. And my hedge needs cutting, I know. But there we are. Bye bye red car, it was nice knowing you. Goodbye. Off he goes. And it's gone. One less hassle. Well, honest to God. That was nice. I just gave the guy a drink. He's been here over an hour. I'm feeling rather sunburnt. So I'm off down my mother's now. I haven't had any breakfast. I'm not really hungry. But I'm going down mum's to sort her out. And then when I come back, I've got a beauty to show you guys. Yes, I have. I have been sent the most delightful handbag to show you. Yes, a handbag. Never used to bother with handbags, but now I am getting a little collection. But I have got a really nice bag to show you. So once I'm back from old Flosso's, I'll show you guys. Guys. Had a fatality yesterday in my family. A fatality of a death of a death of a ninja. My ninja family. We had a death. <sighs> anyway, my ninja died. My ninja drowned. Actually, I'll tell you, he drowned. I'll tell you how he drowned because I boxed up a few bits in the garden when I had the kitchen done. For some reason, I left this one box out there thinking, oh, I'll keep unpacking it, keep unpacking it. And I never did. Well, there was only this one thing in there, Ninja. But the water had got murky that had got in there, and I forgot the Ninja was in there. And then the water had got quite dark, so I didn't even see the Ninja in there. So for one year, I've left this box in my back garden. Yes, it was out of the way, hidden. So it wasn't like I just left this box in my garden. So I got Warren to empty it yesterday because it, well, let me just tell you, it smelled of farts. It smelled of frigging fart. It was so bad. It was like putrid anyway. Got him to empty this stagnant water out. And what was in the bottom? My ninja, my ninja. It was the ninja that looks a bit like a Nutribullet. You know, the one that you put the cup on the top and you can process like smoothie and stuff like that. Oh well, I'll just excuse my another one. Anyway, Warren said, now this wasn't just got a splash of water on it. It was submerged for in water for possibly like eight months. Oh, my mother's going beside me for about eight months, right? And Warren went, oh, I can fix that. And I was like, Get it in the bin. Get it in the bin. Old flossers at the window. What? I'm not opening the window. Oh, she won't. She's going away again. What's up? Right, guys. I'm back in the house, and I'm going to show you what I've got. I have got a rather dinky little box here, but what is in my box? Shall we have a look? Right, I was contacted by a lovely lady from a company called Pure Tree. Let's try and put up there. Pure Tree. And they have sent me this lovely box. And you will see it says Gucci on there. This box has become a little damaged in the post. Again, transport companies, they don't take the best care of our parcels, do they? So it did come with a little buckle there and a rip in the box there, but that is nothing to do with Pure Tree. That is the delivery company. However, I have never seen a website with so many handbags, hats, shoes, everything accessories designer labels i've never seen 
I've been scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. There's hundreds of pages in there. And if there's nothing for you on there, then you're very fussy. Because I have scrolled and scrolled and scrolled looking at all their items. And they have got some really, really nice items. And they do a lot of Disney stuff as well. So I'm going to be sure telling my friend Michelle, you know, is a Disney fan. So, yeah. So we have got this lovely box. And what is in this box? So we have got a very securely wrapped handbag. So let's have a look. You also don't just get the handbag. You get a gift bag, which is coincidentally the same as the box. So if you were gifting this to somebody, obviously you've got a nice bag to put it in. You get all these little cards and literature with it and your receipts. And a little, what's that card for there? Yeah, these are just all the receipts and all the literature you need. And also lots of Gucci ribbon that you can do up your box with, especially if you were gifting it. Now, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to be keeping this handbag or I'm going to gift it because I have a lovely friend who loves a designer bag. And I may actually give gift this one on to her. But let's have a look at the bag. Now this is a nice small bag. So it's not one that I would personally use every day because I do like to keep a lot of junk in my bag. So I do like a big bag for that. But they do come in these lovely like cloth dust bags. And I've said before, that's a sticker, so that comes off. That's just stuck on there. So if we take that off, I have seen quite a few, this is a sticker, quite a few people that get these dust bags and then they put a pillow inside and sew the top and then they've got a little fancy pillowcase. Right, so obviously, as you can see by the packaging and the dust bag, this is a Gucci bag. And here is the bag. It's a really nice little compact bag. This one is a horse bit um, Supreme canvas bag. And I think obviously it gets its name by the buckle on the front. And it just slides in to there it's not got a popper or a zipper or anything it just nicely sits in there so what do we get in this bag quite a lot of bits inside the bag which i shall show you but it's got a really nice canvas line it's lined and it's also got a little tag on the inside and it's also got a leather made in Italy tag as well. So that is the bag. It's got this tag inside, which is like a flap. It's not stuck down. And then it's also got a smaller tag in there. Now this bag is big enough for me to go out, stick my purse in, stick my phone in, maybe a little thing of tissues, and you would get a little bit of makeup in there. But like I say, it's not a bag that I would have for every day, every day for all my junk. But I think that is a really super cute bag. And obviously it comes with handles, but if you didn't want to put the handles on, you could also put this one just as a clutch bag. I would use that as a clutch bag. So it comes with all the parts protected, which I haven't taken off yet. They just all got little covers on them to stop them getting scratched. Just take that off and that is the clasps on the side and then you've obviously got that clasp on the front so straps 
this one strap is a really thick everything's worked really well protected it is a really thick strap in the gucci colors it's adjustable i like a longer strap and again everything is all really protected and covered up to stop it getting damaged let me just see if i can get that one off it's so well protected i can't get it off right let's have a look That's a really good, um, that is a really good clasp on there. And you can tell I'm not, um, some, I'm not somebody that's really into fashion, you know. You can obviously probably tell that by my top, you know. I'm not a high-end fashion guru. I just buy clothes when, you know, when I need them. If they fit, it's a bonus. So... However, my sister, on the other hand, is very much a designer, a designer girl. So I will be showing her the website. I've just got to get the last bit of plastic off here. Is that well protected? Can't get that last bit off. There we are. It's off. But I don't know if you, you may have seen this before, but look at the little... Um, clasps to put it onto the bag you pinch them together for them to open so let's just connect this strap and the little pinch on them it's not it's not loose so you're not going to put that on and think oh god they're going to fall off the bag There you have your nice little strap. So obviously you can strap this bag on and have it as a shoulder bag. You can even open this up and have it as a cross bag if you want. I personally, if I have a bag with a long strap, tend to wear it on my shoulder because I'm rather large chested and putting a cross bag over just seems to exaggerate my chest a bit. So, but yeah, that is a strap there. Strap that's on there is like a casual strap, but you also get a leather strap. Now this is in two pieces because obviously that end again will clip onto the bag and then you've got the buckle and then the other end of the longer one will clip on and then you would tie your your, you would do it then however obviously long you wanted it so the bag you can have it as more of a casual bag or if you want it a bit more dressy you can stick on this leather strap so again i will just take them off and swap them over so we have obviously got this longer strap and it has again got exactly the same fastenings as the other one and you can see it says Gucci, you should be able to see on the edges there. So I'm just going to swap the straps over. So they're really easy to change. You just squeeze the clips together and it's changed. So you get a totally different look with the bag with a different strap on it. even people think you've got two of these bags you know so there it is with the different strap personally i would probably use it with the other strap because i am more of a casual girl you know but yeah that is the bag if you go onto their website and have a look at all the bags that they do because it's not just gucci they do so many different makes and if you like anything that you see, if you use the code um, Karen, it's just Karen, nothing else, you will get 15% off of the bags. But yeah, I absolutely love this bag. And on my next trip out, I think this bag will be coming with me before I gift it on. 
but I really like the bag and thank you for collaborating with me Pure Tree and sending me this wonderful bag. The bag has a really good quality finish to it if you can see. The stitching is absolutely perfect. I always find when I buy some bags that you get like loose stitching on them. There's no loose stitching on this. And again, all the stitching inside is really nice. It's generally an all round, really, really nice bag. And I think anybody um, walking down the street with this bag would be proud to have this on their arm, because I would. I think my mother will be after this bag. She's in for a new bag, although I don't think this one's quite big enough for her. So yeah. Check out Pure Tree. They, honest to God, have got so many bags on their website. You will be spoiled for choice. They're really helpful. The time frame from when I agreed to take the bag to when it was delivered was super quick. I wasn't waiting around ages. And yeah, from the minute the lady contacted me to receiving the bag, everything has been plain sailing and really good. And yeah, I'm really chuffed to have received this bag. So if you do want a bit of luxury, check out Pure Tree. Thank you so much for sending me this bag. This is definitely the most luxurious bag that I do have. So thank you once again. And guys, don't forget to check out their website. Use the code Karen and you'll get 15% off if you fancy a nice bit of luxury yourself. So I will catch up with you guys in the next clip. But don't forget, check them out. Bye guys. So guys, I'm a bit early for the school run. Didn't get any lunch. So what I decided to do, I've just stopped in the local shop. And I've picked up an all day breakfast sandwich for 414 calories. 231 calories on a bag of crisps. I said it before, why do they always put grab bags for the meal deals? And I got a Pepsi Max, so don't count them. But I'm feeling rather blur today. And you know when you just want to eat the world? It's one of them days, one of them days. It's one of those days. And I'm thinking, oh God, what do I do now? Have I come to the end of my time on calorie counting? One of them days, you know, when you think, oh, what shall I do next? Can it count and works? It's the brain, isn't it? It's the brain, it's the brain. Whew, I'll shut my window a minute because there's a car next to me with a window open and I thought if I start jabbering onto my phone they're going to be looking at me like I've gone off. So I'm going to go now, eat what I've picked up for lunch, try and stay good, try and stay sane and get the windows open. So I'll catch you in a bit. So I'm with Jackson. And I, oh, I just feel, um, I feel a bit rough. So I'm, I'm not cooking. I'm gonna have an easy night. And um, they've all requested a chippy, which yes, I know, is, you know, it's gonna be healthy, but that's what they're having. What are you having? You haven't decided, have you? Mm. You can have a look when you're there, is it? Yeah. I don't think I'm actually gonna have anything. I'm just the. Um, person that's going to get it. Um, oh, I think I'm ready for bed. So I'm going to go to the chippy, I'm going to get them food and then I'll see. Well, I didn't have my lunch until quite late. So I'll see because it's half past six now. It's still really hot. All my back is sunburnt. Back of my neck, all my shoulders are burnt. I'm feeling a bit um, uh, I need to sit down and meal plan I think that's where I'm failing yes failing failure I'm a failure I'm a failure I am a failure I'm a failure aren't I no oh. oh that was a pop I don't want my tyre popping I am a failure Jackson you're a really good support to your old mum, are you? But, yeah, I am a failure. I need to meal plan. I need to meal plan 
and I need to meal plan fresh salads and start cooking. I've got that many gadgets in my kitchen, as you know, I could cook a storm up in that kitchen. So I think that's the way forward. I think I'm gonna sit down tomorrow with a pen and paper and I'm gonna meal plan. Oh, I've gone up this lane, it's really narrow. Ooh. And I'm gonna meal plan and then make time to cook. I've got no time, but I've got all the time in the world, if that makes sense. So I'll do a meal plan. I'll go shopping, get all my food. I'll go shopping with my little purse in my new bag. Um, and yeah, I'll go shopping and um, yeah, I think that's what I need to meal plan. So I'm very much a girl at the moment that will just do things in an instant and very much a grabber food wise where I'll just grab what's there. Not always the right choices lately, but you know, like I say, I'm only just holding my head above water at the minute. So yeah, I think that's the way forward. But for now, we're going to the chippy, aren't we? Yeah. Jackson wants a slush because it's absolutely boiling. So we're gonna get a slush. I think I might have one of them. Slushes actually aren't that bad. I got a free slush. You got a free slush? Yeah. How did you get a free slush? The best one. The, because we, when we were oh, there's horses here now. Oh, how did you get a free slush then? So when we were picking stuff to eat, um, the cashier said, um, if you say best one's better than base, yeah. you get a free slush. Oh, that's good. Can't see out my mirror. Right. Because my car's electric, I don't think the girls can hear me behind them. I can't blast me on. Yep, they never heard me one bit. Never mind. Yes, there was a car, girls. You hear them then? Oh, there's a car. Do you like to go horse riding? Yeah. I went horse riding once. Obviously I wouldn't do it now, I'd kill the horse. But uh, I went when I was a child, I went once, never again. Never again. It was actually a birthday party, someone in school, it was a pony party and we all went horse riding. But I wasn't a fan. I wasn't a fan. Oh my God, it's busy here. Let's see where they're going then. Right, we're at the chip shop. Ooh, ooh. There's the ponies. Ponies. Let me go into another space. Right, see you in a bit. Well, time has moved on since I was in the car going to the chippy. It's now one o'clock in the morning the next day. Five plus one, actually. And I ended up having a Savoy sausage from the chip shop, which I bit a, about a quarter of it off and I didn't like it. It was a bit hard. I usually like hard sausages, but this one, not tonight, Josephine. Mm -hmm. No, it was really hard. Savoy's are usually a bit softer. And the red skin on it, conversation, um, was really tough. So Dexter ended up having that. Um, and I did have a slushy from the shop up there. That's all I had, but... I have been sitting down doing the ironing because I can't stand up doing the ironing. It kills my leg. I've been sitting down doing ironing for the, like the last five hours. So it's five past one in the morning. I'm now going to go to bed. So I will see you guys later today because it won't be tomorrow really for me. 
Um, Kenzie's got his second maths exam. Um, so he needs to get up bright and early for that. He said he's not a fan of maths, so, you know, but I do keep saying to them, you can only do what you can do. As long as you try your best, that's all that matters. So I'm going to go and get a couple of hours sleep before I've got to get up again and sort pack lunches out and stuff. And don't forget, guys, to check out Pure Tree because they do have some amazing bags. If you're into bags, that's the website to have a look at. Right. As always, I'll see you tomorrow.